conceptual perspective. People talk Real about talk, it. Like throwing shots. All of the elements. Hello everyone, welcome back to Restoring Ghettos Forgotten. I promised that I would be back with a part two of dealing with the controversial topic of child support in the African-American community. So that to, I'm coming back with the second part of it. Forgive me, I'm still out and about. I'm an extremely busy person. And um, so I'm running another errand, uh, this time with my daughter. So I'm out here in the car waiting on her, but I thought I would go ahead and finish this video because I may actually be uh, out and about showing houses later. Uh, but I wanted to go on from where I stopped and, and bring up the point about single fathers because there are plenty of good hard-working single fathers out there that have that have their children they take care of them you know they don't ask the mother for anything and i think being coming from a male perspective like they believe that because they are a man they should foot the foot the whole bill but i don't think that's fair because if they're if they're there all the time and the you know the non-custodial parent isn't there and she's not paying child support and she's not doing her part i think she needs to uh be held accountable just like you know the brothers do sisters need to be held accountable too so i'm just making the mention because there are a lot of good single fathers out there that are that are supporting their children alone and so again i go back to um they weren't made alone so we need to do a better job at supporting one another and how we do that is we learn how to how to engage one another in a positive way, how to respect one another, and how to be there for our children. <clears throat> one example could be, we all know this type of female. They're my sisters, I love them regardless, but we all know there are some women out there that never have their children. Never, absolutely never, 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 ever. And so the kid is always either with the father or relatives. And if they are with the father and the father's footing the whole bill, why is it, ladies, that we expect to still collect every benefit out there, but we never have our children? Anywhere from AFDC, food stamps, Medicaid, um, everything, child support, but you never have your child. You know, that's something we have to deal with on a human level. You know, get out of our emotions and start putting our children first because you should feel accountable for a child that you helped create. I mean, the child came out of you, so why don't you feel accountable or responsible for that child? So we got some work to do, you guys. This is gonna be a really short video because I just wanted to touch on the other side of it we're always giving the brothers a hard time we're always calling them out but we also have to call ourselves out out on certain things that we're not doing too we're both uh we both are you know should be responsible for our lineage and the children that we bring into this world so uh overall this video is about making sure we come together uh well enough so that we can um come to a common goal on support the support of our children giving each each and every one of our children a fighting chance you know making it to where they can um compete out there in this world that doesn't want to you know give us a chance or, or anything we want we need to create our own opportunities we need to create our own chances and how we do that is we work together we get over the fact that the relationship did not work out for whatever reason you know and we put the kids first we work together for the good of the children and how we do that is we have to be we have to get healthier we have to get whole and i may just be dreaming i don't know but that's just how god created me uh but i may just be dreaming but it's my hope that one day we will become healthy enough to co-parent <coughs> excuse me to co-parent with one another to be respectful to be mindful and to participate in the support of raising and rearing the child of the children. So again, like I said, this, this part of the video is going to be extremely um, small, but I wanted to finish it out because I had to cut off um, towards the middle of my video. 
and I wanted to address the topic that there are some women out there that are not holding up their, their end of the bargain either. We must do better, you guys. Gotta go. See y'all later. Love y'all. Bye-bye. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Restoring Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters. This is part two of the controversial I issue of child support um, in the African-American community. So, hey, I'm, I'm coming back. I won't be long because I'm out on the road again. That's why you're always catching me in my car or at the gym or something like that. I'm kind of trying to give you guys content and still live my everyday life. So that's what's happening uh, with me. Okay. Now, I went over in part one, I went over the, a lot of issues uh, with the child support issue with uh, pertaining to men and women. Uh, mostly I was like on the um, female side, um, but now I wanna address it from the male side, the male perspective, possibly if I can. Uh, and uh, so we're gonna go over to that side. And let's be real because my, my uh, videos are very transparent and very open and I'm a real person. I, I try to make sure I put the real out there. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. So don't come on my video or comment with any negativity. Just if, if it's not for you, pass it on by or dislike it, whatever you want to do. But I don't tolerate disrespect. So don't do that. I'm coming from um, ladies. We have to admit. Now, I know women that's done that. I've never... I, that's dumbest that's done some of the things that i'm going to put out there right now i haven't but i know some that have one being child support you file child support on your child's father or on your husband and he's still in the home that's wrong there's no way to write that if you feel like he's not doing enough then he should not be in he should not still be in your home that's wrong to file child support on the father when he's still in the home with you that's number one Number two is when you have a court ordered child support, you know, you have child support court ordered by the courts and the custodial parent is the mother. And so the father's not in the home and he has to pay the mother um, child support. Now this should change once he gets full custody of the child. And I don't mean by actually, because a lot of times we don't like going to court. We don't like dealing with the, with the laws or whatever you want to call it, legal system. We don't like dealing with them. So say for instance, for whatever reason, by default, the father ended up taking the children or the child. So now he has the, the full custody because he has them, not legally per se, because they haven't went back to court, but he, he took them for their protection or whatever the case may be. He has the children. Now he's doing the 100% support now, mind you, the child support order is still in effect for when she had them. Now, ladies, we're wrong as hell if we keep collecting child support when we don't have our children. This is why so many people hate court-ordered child support because there are some lapses in the system and it, it doesn't favor the non-custodial parent. Uh, so that's why I wanted to mention that, ladies, if that happens, we need the woman up, put our big girl panties on, go to the eight, the attorney general's office and let them know, hey, we need to uh, stop child support because he has them and he's doing everything. So I don't need to get the child support anymore. That's number two. These things happen every day, every day. Now I know I, I, I got on the men in the first part and I, I was making fun of the hundred, the little hundred dollars that they send every once in a while or the $200 they send every once in a while. Uh, but I wanna tell the ladies, we, we need to hold ourselves accountable as well. We need to make sure we're right about this thing. And that's two major points. <clears throat> uh, an example, a real life example. I have a relative in my family right now today uh, that the child's uh, mother opened up an old child support case. Now this child is dead, he's deceased. He's been deceased for over uh, 20 years. This woman went to the attorney general's office and opened up a case on her dead deceased child to collect. How desperate, I mean, how horrible. Not only are you making the father deal with the fact that he lost his child, but you're actually gonna open up a case 
to for back child support or whatever the case may be so he can pay on a child that's no longer there i mean what's this what is that really about this child had been deceased for 20 years so it's not like you were out of so much money because he passed away so early so that's another one that's number three i mean there's different circumstances ladies that we are just vindictive and spiteful and it's not right and it's hurting our children we need to grow up so that we can handle things effectively and efficiently and have healthy whole children turn into healthy whole adults we can't do that when we're always trying to get the next guy when we're always trying to make the other parent pay and suffer that's that energy is negative and no, ain't nothing good gonna come out of it nothing there's another scenario that i want to bring up in child support issues um when there may not be a child support order some women will not go file child support on that father vindictively and i will say vindictively because she doesn't want him to see his child so if she doesn't go file child support there's no uh visitation rights or no order custodial rights or anything established for that child and she knows that so she's gonna say well I'm not filing child support because I'm not going to let him see his child. No, 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 no. That's the only power that uh, that mother possesses. So she's going to use that against him to hurt him by not letting him see his children. And and if there's no enforced child support, you know, then what what is he going to do? He's going to have to take her to court and gain uh, some type of custodial rights for his child. Or he can go file on himself so that he can show record of that he's paying or whatever or that he and just so that he fathers you guys have rights stop letting these angry unforgiving women dictate how you deal with your children if you love your child and she's doing some mess like that then you take it upon yourself and you go to court i know like i said again i'll say it again we don't like court but guess who's paying when you're not around your child we're robbing our children of their very identity because they have an absentee parent and they don't know why. They're just believing the mother's story. But if the mother is bitter and she's kind of thrown off in the head, I mean, let's be real. Some of us are. Then she's hearing a one-sided, then, then the child or the children are hearing a one-sided story. So then they grow up with abandonment issues because my father didn't want me. He didn't want anything to do with me. That creates a whole nother plethora of issues for that child that's gonna have to go through life stumbling not understanding why they can't really connect to people because they have these issues these unresolved issues that came from childhood this is major now i'm going to get out here because i need to get going i got a lot on my plate but i wanted to finish part two of this these issues because we need to deal with them you guys we need to deal with them they are hurting and affecting our children so uh comment below click um you know the subscribe button and share it so that i can get it out and have a broader audience so that uh because these tough issues need to be talked about they need to be dealt with we need to tackle these issues so that we can get better and have a a, a better community and so that we can be a community with each other and help each other out and, and stop suffering in silence guys a lot of us suffer in silence let's stop doing that let's take it upon ourselves to help single parents out there that you see that's busting their tail i ain't talking about the sorry ones that just want to sit on their behind and say woe is me and they don't do anything for themselves or their children i'm not i'm talking about the ones that get out there every day and hustle and grind to support their children and you see them slipping and they need a little help and you can help them help them that's what community is about you guys we got to get better at that other people they figured it out that's why they're doing a lot better economically as a whole because i know there's some people out there that got it going on financially and they can't relate but we are a whole our community is a whole you could be doing good but if your sister down the street is not we're all not doing well so let's build more of a community let's love each other more let's get involved with these children that don't have fathers because there are some men that just will not participate okay can somebody step in we need to do better you guys i'm gonna let you go and um i appreciate you all for for uh signing in and looking at this video remember to click and subscribe and share this video of part two and part one 
I appreciate you all. Love you guys. Bye-bye. Hello, everybody. Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.